Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Y. Today we're gonna be making our way up to Dendamil Town, the next city of this game, but in order to do that we need to head through Route 15. It's a pretty long route, but uh, we're gonna be making our way through this route and hopefully facing off a bunch of trainers. I went and actually bought a ton of Max Repels just because I don't want to run into wild Pokemon battles. We can buy Max Repels now. I think uh, since the fifth gym, you were able to buy Max Repels. If given the opportunity, do not buy Super Repels. Buy Max Repels always because you get more steps and the money is not that much of a difference. It's Super Repels and Max Repels, I think, are almost the same money's worth. Like, they're almost the same price, but Super Repel or Max Repels give you like 50 extra steps. So, do not waste your money on Super Repels. It works for all of the Pokemon games too. Anyways, looks like we have a double battle against two sisters right here. I'm going to be sending out... Uh, Charizard and Greninja. This should be easy to do. I'm gonna go ahead and Mega Evolve and do Flame Burst on Floet. And we will go ahead and do Lick on Drift Blim. But we need a Mega Evolve first. Because we're cheap like that. I'm I'm a really I'm a cheapo. Honestly, you know what I think too? I feel like my Pokemon other than Charizard are really weak. And I feel like maybe their stats are probably really low just because the only training they've been getting is through EXP share. So I think if you just EXP share rather than EV train, your Pokemon will gain less stats. I know that's how it works for rare candies, but I'm not too sure. So if that's the case, one of you Pokemon experts or one of you who know more about Pokemon, just let me know because I feel like honestly my Pokemon are really weak compared to what they should be for their levels. So uh, it looks like we can learn Flamethrower right now. I'm going to go ahead and forget. Fire Fang because Fire Fang is one weaker than Flamethrower and Flame Burst plus the accuracy is 95 and I haven't been using Fire Fang ever since I've gotten Flame Burst so Flamethrower it is and it looks like Hawk and Jaws both grew one level which is good I really want Jaws to keep growing levels because he deserves it and we want to get that Garchomp ASAP so we're gonna go ahead and do Flamethrower on Drift Blim and we'll go ahead and attack Again with Lick, as you see, as you saw, like Lick is in fact super effective on Drift Blim, but it doesn't do much damage. I don't know why. Like, either this Drift Blim has extremely high defense, or my Pokemon is just complete garbage. Which I honestly think it's the latter one. I think my Pokemon is just a complete useless piece of crap <laughs> because I've just been using e uh, EXP share this entire game. Ah, uh, it could that could be the reason. So I mean if that's the case I am I am eternally screwed for when we face off against the Elite Four. Looks like we have a hollow clip received from who? Who might this be? Lysander. What do you want, man? According to Professor Sakemore's research, Mega Evolutions releases all of a, all of a Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon then exhibits a level of power it could not attain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do people and Pokemon have such potential or is it just hidden within a chosen few? It is hidden within the chosen few, the people who love their Pokemon and the ones whom Pokemon love them. That's my two cents on this. Oh, this looks like we're fighting a preschooler with fairy type Pokemon. That's cute. Gotta love those little girls, man. Dedene. Dedene. I mean, like, some of these names aren't even real names. They're just silly. Like, Dedene? What kind of name is that? That's that's a stupid name. All right, we're going to flamethrow the crap out of this, because why not? And bam, shazam, alakazam. I think that's electric and fairy type. I'm not even sure. I don't know most of these types are, or the Pokemon types here in this game yet, but that's something that I'll have to get. That's a fairy type for sure. It looks like it. Ugh. Look at it. Look at its nose. It looks like, um... Wow, what, what does it look like? It looks like a... Not a peacock. It looks like a, a toucan. I believe that's the name of the bird. A toucan with like the long uh, crooked beak. That's definitely what it looks like. So we're gonna do flamethrower once again. And it should kill it. There we go. Bye bye. Little preschooler girl. Unless she has another Pokemon. Nope. She is in fact done. We are finished with this. And I managed to accumulate over $100,000 here in this game. I spent a lot of it though on Max Repels because yeah, I needed a, I needed a few. Uh, what am I looking for right now? I'm looking for a Super Potion to heal Charizard because I don't want him dying during these battles. I want him to stay alive. He better stay alive. Wait, 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 wait. Before we actually go through here. Uh, Route 15, Brunway. 
All right, so there looks like this could be an area here. I want to check this area out. Did you hear the voice too? That's why you're here, right? Eh? Uh-huh. Oh, this is so creepy. I hate girls like this. Look at that face. Like, God, that, that is... Tell me that's not scary. That is scary. That will give you nightmares every night. I don't like little girls because of that. They make... I, I don't know. If I ever have... If I ever have a daughter, I mean... I will be freaked the crap out. Apparently, flame th did, did flamethrower not affect this? It does not affect it, apparently, so... Yeah, it's it's not effective at all. What am I doing? I should probably switch out. Oh, actually, you know what? It's gonna kill itself. It should kill itself. I think. I'm not sure. It usually does that. There's a move that it does. Yeah, that's it. There you go. No, that's not it. It does a move where it kills itself. Oh, there you go. That's that's the move. How stupid of it. What like Litwick? That's that's the dumbest Pokemon to ever have on your team. We're just gonna keep battling. It's gonna send out its decision. We're gonna fight. We are going to flamethrower it rather than Mega Evolve because Mega Evolve does take time, does take time, and I don't like the whole cutscene part because that's like five seconds of time. We could have wasted doing something else, but then again, I mean, using two turns on this is also a waste of time. <laughs> it's all good though. We're in no rush. We are in no rush at all. Whispray grew to level 42 and wants to learn Psy Shock. Yeah, you bet your ass we will teach it Psy Shock. Shit, shit, shit. Shock, we'll forget that. And ta da! It learned Psy Shock. And I haven't used Whiz Pig once in battle, so I don't know how strong it may be. It probably is pretty crappy too because I grew it from level f 16 to 42 just all off of EV or EXP share training Which is not good. I need to do something about this. I need to fix this. This is not good This is not healthy for my Pokemon at all. Here's the lost hotel Um, let's let's let's, let's explore this hotel. What is in this trash can? It's a trash can. Yeah, no crap Um we found a smoke ball. Looks like there's a trainers here, so I mean, might as well just battle them, gain the experience off of them, you know? Hey, little girl. Come on, darling, bring out your Pokemon. My Civ... My... Civ... Civ... Pier. My... Ah, I know, I know how to pronounce this. Whatever. And Arbok are itchy to play. Or itching to play. The, what are they itching for? They're itching to play with each other. They're both snake-like Pokemon. But that's not the only thing she does when she plays with them. All right, so let's go ahead and Mega Evolve and do Flamethrower. Look at look at how swaggy my guy looks. Red snapback, purple flannel, nice V-neck shirt, beige jeans and boots. Totally swagalicious. And this drought will make my Flamethrower even much stronger, which is good. So this should kill it. Ooh, I'm sorry. Did that burn you a little bit? It did. It did, didn't it? And Mayro grew to level 48. The XP share. Alright, it's gonna send out Arbok. We can switch out into... Nothing. Why not? Why would we switch out? I mean, come on. Charizard is perfectly capable of taking them out by himself. We don't need to switch out. I feel kind of cheap, though, for using one Pokemon, though. I don't know why. I, I mean... It's because I know I screwed up by doing the EXP share thing. Because I know for a fact my Pokemon should be stronger than they currently are. The fact that they're giving you levels this easy means there's some gimmick involved in it. And I'm telling you, the gimmick mean the gimmick is that your Pokemon aren't getting the proper stats that they need. So I'm probably going to have to buy a ton of proteins for my Pokemon and just feed them. Because they need it. Otherwise, I will be eternally screwed for when phasing off against the Elite Four. And I do not want that. We need to be at our 100% game. So we're going to do Flamethrower on Grab Door. And I will go ahead and do... We can do Surf. Oh, man. No, that will actually affect Charizard. So we can do Surf on this guy. Unless my Charizard flies up in the air, that would be cool. Let it fly in the air and uh, we can do Surf so the water doesn't affect it. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah. Yeah, that, that did jack, but at least it confused it. Once again, Charizard's gonna be the one to have to kill it. Because I've been using Charizard ever since I've gotten him. Because Charizard is badass. I mean, come on, tell me that you wouldn't use Charizard if you had the opportunity to only use him. I mean, look at it. It's, it's so gorgeous looking. Magnificent beast. Beautiful creature, if you tell- if, if you ask me, I will- Yeah, alright, so we're gonna do a uh, round on this. God, I feel like- look at this, it's not gonna do jack on it. Mm, look at that, oh my god, jack. Either because the Pangro has a super high defense, or, like I said, my Pokemon are just complete utter bull. Flip-flop grew to level 35, gained 4 attacks. Stats. I mean, look at the attack stats. It gains decent attack stats. I don't know, man. I don't know. And we defeated these two emo man, man or couple. Not emo. They're like uh, punk couple-ish people. Uh, sure, why not? I'm pretty sure you can run into wild Pokemon here. What is this? Hmm. Huh. Don't tell me it's a Litwick. Oh, it's a Trubbish. Now, do I want to catch this Trubbish? I don't know. I mean, let's see. What does it look like? It looks like something from... Uh, okay, never mind. I killed it. My bad. Did not mean to. I mean, if if I didn't kill it, I would have caught it, I promise. But I killed it. Uh, hello. Can I pass through here? Dude, kid. What do you think you're wearing? You ain't got no sense of style. You're all about a million years ahead of yourself. If you think you can beat- if you can meet the boss... Oh, my bad, I can't meet the boss. Think what you may of my looks, but at least I'm honest and I'm telling you. You're not cool at all. Just look at you. You've got- <laughs> you've got to take care of yourself. What an asshole. Why would you tell someone that? She just called me out. Alright, so it looks like we can't do much here. In the lost hotel but there was actually another area too leading south from the uh, hotel kind of towards the entrance uh, of the next town so I'll be sure to check that place out let's go ahead and mega evolve and do flamethrower I'm just gonna heal up when I make it to the Pokemon Center anyways so I'm not really too worried we will heal up anyways even though my my PP runs out on oh, flamethrower, it shouldn't be a big deal. Not practical at all to use Charizard. But I'm just hungry. It's gonna use Sharpedo. We can switch out into. To. Who, who is good? I'll switch out into Goku. Because Sharpedo could kill Charizard if he has a water type move, which I'm sure he does. Because, I mean, look at it. It's level 39, so it obviously he has to have some sort of water type move. We'll do Bone Rush, see how much damage that does. It's doing pretty decent damage, actually. Hit twice. It's going to use Slash. Not too much damage on my uh, end. We're going to do another Bone Rush. And this should definitely do the trick. One more time, and Shazam. The Sharpedo is dead. Go to level 46. Woo! And West Pig grew to level 43. Charizard grew to level 49. And it's gonna send out a pon Ponyard. We will continue <coughs> using Lucario. Unfortunately, I can't Mega Evolve just because Mega Charizard is out there and evolved and, and swagged out. And. Ta-da! It is dead. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Alright, so let's get out of this lost hotel. It looks like we can't do much here anyways. So I'm gonna go look for something else to do. Let's actually head... See, I wanted to get that Pokeball. That's what really intrigued me. Because, I mean, obviously if that Pokeball is there and you have to go through hell just to get it, it has to be a pretty damn good item, you know? So let's head south from here and we are Route 16. I unfortunately did not teach any of my Pokemon strength, so let me do that right now. Let us teach it to Gibble. Gibbite. Keep calling him Gibble, I don't know why. And we will forget 
Um, uh, sandstorm because I never use sandstorm. I never would, anyways. I'm not playing competitive Wi-Fi battles. None of the Pokemon trainers here are. Yeah, they're they're not like real people. They they don't know. And then use a move. And there we go. It used strength. And who is this? Hey! I see you! Care for a sky battle with a sky trainer? Hell yeah! Fly, fly, fly up high, quickly, quickly to our battleground in the sky! And here we go, guys. We are gonna be battling a sky trainer Clara. Clara. She's gonna send out an Emolga. And my only sky Pokemon is. Charizard. What? No. No, that can't be true. Hawk is a sky Pokemon, too. That's weird. I wonder if you die, like, from a battle like this. If you only have, like, one Pokemon, like, see how I can only use Charizard, right? And I die in this battle, if I'll, like, they'll start me back at the Pokemon Center, if I technically will black out or not. I don't know, but I'd be pretty shameful if I did die. <laughs> Flamethrower should kill Amolga. And it did. That's good stuff. And its next Pokemon is a, a what? A Swellow? Wow, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Let's go ahead and do a Flamethrower. We're only at two more moves of Flamethrower and we are completely done. And Swellow fainted. And that is the perks of having a Mega Pokemon. You destroy- you obliterate through the Pokemon like no tomorrow. And she surprisingly gave us a lot of money for it, which is good. 4,000. So it looks like uh, the Lost Hotel actually continues here. Um... Hello. You're trying to get to the way of the having to be- <laughs> Shut up. They try to like slang the English and it, it makes it annoying to read. Because they try to make the trainers uh, super pimping. But they're not really, they're just ugly and stupid. And we'll do flamethrower on the Dunsparce of sparsiness. And what does it do? What is that? It lowered my uh, defense harshly. Okay. Okay, Dunsparce, you little donkey. Wing attack with my right wing. Get it? Nah, I, I, there is no pun there. Not at all. I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, we defeated this guy. He gave us some money. We are just we are just loaded on cash right now, and I think hello, are you a trainer? I'm not skating. I'm not for skating, but I've got a trick to teach you. Try using this move, would you? And I obtained TM56 Fling. It may prove to be useful to us. You never know. All right, so it looks like you can't do much actually here. Oh, there's a trainer. I don't want to battle you. Repel war off. Yeah, use another one. Yeah, so there's really not much we can do now. We'll definitely come back and explore the Lost Hotel uh, once we do beat the game. That'll be something uh, left for us to do here in the after game. And we'll explore this route as well. Because we are so close to finishing this game. I think once we finish the game, we'll have a ton of time to do whatever we want. And to actually explore this game thoroughly and, and enjoy it. The way it's meant to be enjoyed. So here we are in Dendemil Town, the next town of this game. Wow, it is pretty chilly. I'm actually, in fact, really cold. I'm going to go ahead and end off the episode here, though. In the next episode, we are going to go ahead and hopefully either face off the gym leader or do something else. Because uh, I know in every town there's always a quest. So we might do the quest of the town and then do the gym leader. I don't know entirely, but we're going to do either or. So thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.